welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. Sorry, crap. As you guys can see, I've got some food right here. And guess what? We're going to react to a video which is entitled Thai Street Food Extreme Barbecue Meat Tour in Chiang Mai, North Thailand. Thai sausage and uh, what's that word? Lap. I'm not quite sure if it's like a type of meat. Nonetheless, we're going to react to it, of course, as requested from Mark Win. Thank you so very much, guys, for requesting this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to your video, leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Good okay, morning. let's see. Hi, Mark. I'm, in Chiang Mai, oh, I'm gonna enjoy my food, go guys. Um, by the way, Chiang Mai. We're gonna eat at the market. That's um like cod fish, curry, cod fish with mayonnaise and um ground provision and mainly banana, green banana. So you have turmeric in it. That's why it's so yellow. I love turmeric. Oh, this looks delicious. Let's look at the back. Oh, and I'm gonna enjoy my own also. Mm. Yep. Delicious. Yeah. Our first destination this morning uh -huh. is called Palat Mejia. And Tala it Mejia. is a market in Chiang Mai known wow. for northern Thai food. They have is that a fries? specific stall here that serves one Whoa, of the Whoa, look at sausage! Tawa, which is uh, the northern Thai sausage, wow. which is guaranteed to make one of the best breakfasts. Wow. Guaranteed to fool the stomach too. <laughs> some curry stalls. You can get fruits and vegetables here too. Mm. And one of the great things about this market is it's actually mm. it's not too big. Delicious. It's big enough, so it's manageable. It's friendly. Wow. Uh, let's go find that sausage. Very neat environment. It's very neat. I must admit. Ooh. The grill is just Look at the sausage, yo! Of sausage. You can smell the lemongrass in the air. Uh, the <laughs> stall is called and they also So Thailand is known few, for this lemongrass. Oftentimes they, he mentioned that there's lemongrass. They have some nampik noom, but the real wow. thing you're gonna eat. Oh, there it is. The curly, Ooh, look at that. The curly rolls. Oh my gosh. And if you put the price on there. <laughs> just giving me a <laughs> sample. Ooh. How is it? These eyes. Mm. Oh, the lemongrass. I chopped it up. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. He just flew through that curl of Look at that. that was oh my god. I When I come to Thailand, I'm going to eat, eat, skills. eat, yo. The aroma of the lemongrass <laughs> and the herbs just burst yeah. through that sausage. This Joe is delicious too. Since joined, uh, we got a whole bag mm. of it now and it's just steaming hot. It's mm. right off the grill. It even mm. fucked up my, my lens as soon as I got close taking a photo of it. That oh is my an god. Aroma. That is an aromatherapy. Cheers. <laughs> I pretend like I'm eating what he's eating right now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's <stick>. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> I forgot about the little stick that's tying oh my. my intestines closed at the end. Some of the best sight walk I've ever had. For sure, without a doubt. Mm. So herbaceous. So delicious mm. indeed. Wow. So heavy on the lemongrass. And to me, it actually this looks doesn't heavy. taste as fatty heavy. as heavy. other versions. Heavy. It's like not, this. It, it juices, yeah. but not like that fatty, ah. fatty juiciness wow. that you get. It's more Ooh. heavy on the herbs, which I, I love. Mm. Ooh. His eyes. It's dangerously tasty. <laughs> You could munch oh. through a whole bag without even thinking about oh it. Oh my god, this is so delicious. At 7 a.m. in the morning. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I oh, love natural, organic rice. sort of There's food. There's one more little packet. I don't really One of my favorite like things to eat in American kind of food, honestly. Ash, I love my is, uh, it's local food. It can be meat, oh, it can be delicious. herbs, it can be vegetables, which are oh. packed into a banana wow. meat wrapper and then roasted, grilled over fire, over charcoal. Uh, but the, the That's why I know I will adapt good in Thailand if, it, if I visit the food there. Because most of the food is like is similar to Caribbean sort of food, which is using banana leaf to to, to to be a be meal. That is so right. so Caribbean. That is great. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Mark with eyes goes. A little bit of a lemongrass flavor. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. You, you got a 12 kilo bag of. Oh. That was for sure some of the best saigua I've ever had wow. in Chiang Mai. Oh my gosh, really yo, good, that looking really so tempting. Such an herbaceous oh. mix. And one thing you should know is that saigua is one of those things that you cannot return back to Bangkok. There's no way you can be hungry in Thailand. Wow. They will 
they will not be be happy with you. Oh, I got 390, 11.9. Ooh, 11.91 US. Wow. 390 bar. We're walking out of the market because we've got many more things to wow. eat today. I gotta get one more bite of that. Sight wall over here. This looks so oh, look good. <laughs> and another thing I noticed, Thailand uses a lot of plastic bags it, it, it for, for um, you take food. Your mouth as fast as possible. In my country, we just pass a bag on styrofoam cups and plates Good. and straws and stuff mm. like that. that Not sure if that's like the same the for Thailand. Let me know, guys, like is styrofoam banned in Thailand because they're using a lot of plastic. But this looks heck, yeah, delicious. <laughs> oh, underneath, oh. The, underneath the camera. Ooh. <laughs> okay, but we we have decided wow. to go with a little bit more. I can be very careful Chiang because it was not easy getting this bit of food up in the air like, like that. It's on something you don't want to see what it's on. <laughs> grill. But it's up and anyway. A couple of Northern Thai <laughs> grilled meat yeah. there before. There's one place that we have to be back. We have to be there by 11 a.m. to get Ooh. what is supposed to be one of the what top that, places to eat lab in all of Chiang Mai. Wow, is that it looks like soil or, or berries? Is it a meat though? Don't tell me that's like raw meat again. Mmm. Very green. Thailand is much green. Love it. Mmm. Very nice, guys. If that was about a 30 minute drive or so, uh, this restaurant is north of Chiang Mai. And it's oh, it's like a rural environment. They do have a selfie position, but let's try to get a look. Oh, yes. Yes, I can see the smoke from the grill. <laughs> We're here what do you like? Before they open. <laughs> Ooh, they're there early. Ooh. Oh my god, it's a guess of me. Sadikap. Right now it's just in full bloom. The entire grill is just covered with meat and different banana wow. packets. You can see the curly and thighs are big eaters. And the, some of the, the most delicious looking oh, recipe. When I get to Thailand and I enjoy the food, I will let so you guys know. But, but for Mac with eyes when he bites into this delicious away. food, it tells me that it is delicious. Northern like mine right now, it is actually quite delicious. This one. By the pole there. Oh, this is like the simplest meal you could make, uh, and it's so good. Yep. And chop up the meat. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> The main dish that we ordered oh. is the mixed grill, so he's rummaging through. This, mm. this is just a grill to behold. <laughs> so he is going through the different parts, the, the snout, the ears, the mm. intestines, wow. chopping bits off and... Is that basil? Or mint oh, leaf? Look at that. Ooh. We had to actually hold ourselves back from ordering too much because <laughs> we have lots more to eat today. But it looks Ooh, so good. Woo. We got some of their specialties, especially Whoa. the young room, which is all that mix of grilled mm. meats. Another thing they have here Whoa. is the chinsong sai kai, which is one of their specialties. And so that's a, like a fermented pork, chinsong. which is roasted really? in a banana leaf. But we saw him as he was making one. Not so they first They first roast just the pork, um, then he cracks on an egg onto the top. So that's like a that's like just a next level, a new type of fried egg with a, wow. just a, an entire base of fermented pork on the bottom, all wrapped within a packet banana. And of course, sticky oh, rice. That looks so good. I, think we I wonder if we can get sticky rice in Dominica. Is just all I must check in this one And then you've got the yolk just nestled on top. It we don't have much of a, a little bowl of we've got a little Chinese here, but not you also you know, Thais. Sure Hopefully this could change one day maybe. Ooh! Be sure to coat, coat your sticky rice it would be awesome to have Thais living in a bit of everything. So like, yeah, gooey and like collagen. -y. Wow. <laughs> Someone sent for me to come and live in Thailand. So I need to come and move to Thailand. Perfectly sour, so garlicky. Wow. Oh wow. And the creaminess of the yolk. You gotta follow that chili and garlic combo, and since it's really? Thai, Gratam Thai, Thai, Thai garlic, you can actually eat the skin. A what? That's interesting. Mm. Wow, I did not know that. That just elevates your entire mouth. Look, Look at this multi I like the fact that it's, I wish I could eat it with my hands right now, but you know, I can't have to do this from this some type of food. <laughs> mm. So porky, porky, porky. luscious. Okay, let's move on to the mixed grill here. Dip it Ooh. into the, the sauce. Nice Look sauce. That looks delicious as well. Yeah. Hot. Look at this size. Look at this size. Look at this size. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh, the meat is so tender and so smoky. I'm almost done. I'm, I'm trying not to, to cook because like I want to eat. 
Just Every enough case, that like while I'm watching the video, I've got something to eat. And typically my Ooh. favorite piece wow. from the Yang Ruam of Northern Thailand, the mixed girl, is the intestines. Really? Here's a, here's a little guy. Give this a good soaking. Intestines are the best. They have like a... Mm, you know what I taste in that sauce? Really? A little bit of galangal. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They have wow. perfect balance of chewy, crunchy, Ooh. crispy... Better out that in, guys. Better out that everything, in. Everything, all the textures in your mouth. As you do keep on oh. chewing, the flavor is released. I think right here, this one is the, the snout. Look at that. It's just pure. <laughs> mm -mm. I think this one is the pig nose. The this snout. over KFC any day. This is the best. Over mm. <laughs> KFC, I'll do KFC oh, in this. Snout, it's so fatty Ooh. and gelatinous. <laughs> But the edges are so crispy. By the way, mm. I shouldn't be eating that mm. much when I'm going to sleep, oh, well. but that it's, is like a burst of I think I'll be fine. fattiness in your mouth. Mm. I mean, I'm pretty pet, are you? Pet loom. Pet Sticky rice. We got some Nampre pet loom. <gasps> this is made from some type of a mushroom, but maybe with some chili. Looking like what I'm eating right now. What is I tried mac eye. Oh, that is. That's sensationally good. Oh. You've got the roasted green chilies, oh but at the same God. time you have that meaty flavor from the mushrooms. And this is I'm so happy I decided to eat I when I'm reacting to videos like, like that like because beef. I'm oh, I'll get hungry. There. A beef stew or I hope you guys are eating also with me. Wow. If it's not oh, spicy, like I'm not stew. eating. But I don't like spicy. Flavor and this one is the gang wow. one, which is a young jackfruit curry. Really? There's also pork bones So many different meals. with cilantro and green onions. And then this is a, a chunk of the, the young jackfruit. Mm. Like a light pork soup. And the pieces of young mm. jackfruit are kind of, they're starchy. Did it say young jackfruit? At that stage when it's a young Look jackfruit. Like pork. And finally, we just wanted to try their gang hung lei, which, sorry, you got to kind of turn the bowl here because it has a lip and wow. there's a shadow. Uh, but this is one of Ying's favorite dishes, northern Thai dishes, and so we had to Whoa. try some of that. Oh, oh that pork just flakes apart. It's so tender. <laughs> oh, wow, my sticky rice. Ooh. Mm. Mm. He is the best judge at Hang Le, Gang Hang Le. What are you thinking? It's a very good. The ginger awesome. is really nice in there. You taste the pickled Ooh. garlic as well, just that slightly tart flavor. The ginger stands out though. And that pork is really, mm. really tender. Remember, Man, that was some the color of my food, food is because of the turmeric. I like turmeric in my food. Before the turmeric is very different. Man, that, this is a place that you and what gives you it its fitness or its for your nice party, texture? For sure. I mix turmeric and mayonnaise. I made some of but I mix turmeric and mayonnaise. And I just love it. We gotta move kind of quickly now, but mm. we gotta get to the next restaurant mm. uh, right mm. as they open because otherwise they're only open for three hours per day. We want to get there what? right as they open to get the first selection, and they they sell out very fast. Uh, but yeah, just as you have probably noticed already since we've been eating this morning. Northern Thai food is quite heavy on the meat, yep. and people, yeah, people love to eat meat. So <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna eat like the, the, the ultimate of meat dishes in Northern Thailand next. Awesome! Wow. Thailand. And it's right I just love the, the atmosphere of Thailand. It, it, it just, just looks right so Caribbean. It looks. Everyone is running wow. for the lab. Oh, everybody is. So, how did they pronounce it? Lab? Lab? Said it as lab. This spot right here. There's almost like a bar counter seating at the front, and then you walk back into the their yard, into the house here. I'm not even sure if they have a menu here, but Ying instructed that we need to order the lab quai dip. Lab which is the, dip. It's buffalo lab. Oh, oh, lab. Oh, there's two A. Lab. Um, I spot them. There's an E. Right there. Of it. And only been persons are there waiting. Order already. <laughs> Actually, all the all the seats are taken around. Wow, the meal is that delicious, yo! That they they are all there already. So what is that red thing? Is it beef? What is it? I wish he would say he would most likely say what that red 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 texture or material or whatever it is. Ooh, wow. This looks so delicious with this rich recipe. He is such a master. He's <laughs> focused on the lab. That's all raw minced buffalo, so it's really dark 
dark like maroon oh shit he said but uh, I he adds in a lot of numbi which is so uh, buffalo he i didn't get it that was talking some spices he mixes that he almost mixes wow. it like a cake batter style involving <laughs> so get into scoops oh. and stirs mixing all these spices it mm. uh, looks so good and people are here just waiting now this witching is and witching section you know it's mm. a good spot when there's a <laughs> right there. Hanging <laughs> in the kitchen. Look how cool this is. This is something you won't wow. really see anymore. The traditional style. This is the, the coconut wow. shell on a stick. Is... So why isn't it still like you said you don't see that anymore? This looks cool. They should maintain it and keep it up. We've been waiting for probably 30 minutes? One hour? Yeah, 40 minutes. Oh, 40. Uh, <laughs> it was good. It's going to be so worth the wait. They already I, I think so too. Like at least 10 or 15 orders before we got here, and we got here at 11.02. Oh, this is so delicious, guys. I can't stop eating uh, mine. Uh, she just brought mm. up the la pie dip, and that is the la dish that dip. everybody can order. They, they probably have only a few on their menu, but this is a dish that everybody It is mid, so they didn't... This is what you come here for. He added, they said like, raw buffalo. Some of them didn't cook it. In that bowl, at least five giant spoons of green bile. Wow. Oh, oh, I'm not sure how so I feel about raw meat. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't oh, like the cool. idea of raw like meat. I want blood. It literally looks like strawberry jam. Look at this eyes. Look at this eyes. Look at Mac eyes. Look at Mac. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, it wasn't there. <laughs> oh, the dad was there. <laughs> this is extremely delicious, yo. Wow. Whoa. Okay. No. Mac, I'm you're, you're pissed, Mac. I just want to lick my fingers. <laughs> Oh. Oh. It literally, it literally is like jam. Wow! It's such a fine grind, maybe even like liquefied buffalo. It's, it's almost but like it's like jellied a little like bit because of the blood. That's <laughs> 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 thick. It's like a buffalo smoothie. And then he does. Oh man, he's such a master. The seasoning there looks incredible. When he was adding the seasoning, I know it was just good, but I'm not quite sure about the raw meat. I'm not sure. I'm never eating it, so please don't. I just not. Can't imagine this in raw meat. That took out like all the air bubbles and probably probably coagulated the blood, so that's why it's kind of almost like. But co coagulated the blood, sir. Coagulated the blood, yo. Look at the texture <laughs> of that. Mm. Yeah. That is delicious. A groundbreaking plate of lob. And then mm. you gotta have an herb basket. And you just take from it. Wait a moment. For some of this one is the Pak Trail, which in English is often called Vietnamese coriander. Wow. A lot of the trees are edible and in Thailand. Mm. Well. And that just goes so well that cleans with me. We also got some gang home. This is the if I have like leaves or just herbs, I like to mix it in my full self. I don't like to mix it in herbs. Like that. Yeah, there's, not there's much of a fan, here, but of course, there's I guess it's in by itself comes yeah, with the recipe. I'm gonna grab. Oh, did I did I score a piece of rumen? <laughs> <laughs> that could be a an inner best. stomach chunk right there. Shimmy shimmy. Well, it's delicious, a, still. It's a grassy, yes. livery chunk. I got a little bit of digested grass in that bite for sure. <laughs> this looks nice, of course, and it's cooked. <laughs> Not raw. It's a soothing broth. Maybe a little bit. Oh, it's added more. A little bit of this dry spice blend. <laughs> wow, it does look like jam. If they did not say it's raw buffalo, I would well, think it's like jam or something. I think mostly my plan. You want to be wow. a little bit careful. Ooh. Look at those thorns. Just explaining this is my plan. <laughs> They're just be eating pretty clear herbs. Mm. I must try that. I don't sweetness. practice that. <laughs> the best, <laughs> the best the of best course. The and the best taste of love. Yeah, of love. love. In awesome. In Northern Thailand. <laughs> yes. He, he has just That's why I love Thai. <laughs> Look at that. He just <laughs> comes down in the camera and everybody is not like, oh, don't come by camera. Don't. It, it, it would work in prop. Of course. Doing, wow. Is, it's like flash blanched. It slices of meat and also makes the spices. Mm. You can see the garlic in there. You can see the herbs. Wow. Um, there may be some digestive juices and, and liquids in there as well. Huh? Uh, but then that also looks delicious. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, this tastes so nice. It's so bitter, it's almost sweet. You've got a jolt of bile bitterness in there. Oh, must it be rice with it? So you can mix up sticky rice with most of the recipe that they have. Sticky rice, soak in. Mmm. You know, Mac Wayne should do a video with Pitchy Lake. How do you, what, how do you guys think? He eats, he, Mac like Wayne eats a lot also. He just don't consume a lot at the time, but he eats a lot. I can assure you, there's enough flavor in there to just excite your mouth and tongue for days. But as I said, most of the food are from Thailand. It's like very natural organic sort of meals, so it don't give you that whole idea of um, you don't get obese or cholesterol, you know this fatty, fatty food? It's like, oh, awesome meals. So we got Nung Ki, 100 grams. They got 500 grams. Wow. So look at that. Look at that. Did they just borrow him? Them their plate of food so that they could show it in the video. Oh my god, Thailand is awesome, I tell you. Wow. Hey, the people are so awesome. The guy sitting behind us that we just left from, they said this is the best. They they think it's the best place for lab in all of northern Thailand. Mm. And that's also oh, this this recipe really is not unique only to this restaurant then. But I I would not argue with them whatsoever. I, I think I'm a bit buzzing from all that fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, even, like, yeah, I'm almost here. done. Whoa. Man, if we ended this food tour right now, right here, <laughs> I would be awesome. very, very happy. Awesome. But I think we might have to go to one more place just to like, just to eat some more food and just gather our thoughts wow. after that. Oh. Ying. Ying. That was <laughs> the Max son is getting so big. <laughs> I've never had yeah. in my entire life. Y wow. You have a lab. <laughs> Maxon is getting big, yo. Unbelievable. <laughs> and by the way, thank you to Ying. She's the one that <laughs> recommend. Discovered. She discovered that spot for wow. us. She, she said that we had to go there. Thank you, Ying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, I, I, I want to just we put my finger the in there. I have to put my finger the in there. The last lab bit now. Northern Thai restaurant. It's called Lab Don Yang. Mm. And this is a, it's actually quite packed right now. It's kind of a whole courtyard area. Uh, this restaurant specializes in lab, but they also oh, they have the same. Quite, a, quite a mix of northern Thai dishes, including a few curries and soups and oh. some things from the grill as well. Mm. By the way, what is that? The thing that still rises in the, 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 the square most of the stuff, what is that called? Arrived. The two centerpieces, these are the two lobs that we got. It looks very unique. Also some other dishes that we had to taste. Check out this mountain. It looks like it's... Ooh! Wow. Okay, but let's By the way, guys, hopefully Friday I'm going to try to react to a video if you guys make a request for Mark Wynn. And by I'm going to be eating another chicken. You can actually see the chili okay, cheese in there. Okay, you guys would make a request. Oh, wow. <laughs> That mm. is like a, it mm. looks like frog skin almost. Ooh. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna save okay, that guys. for later. I'm, <laughs> gonna go in for I'm so, done. Get all the herbs and stuff and, and the I'm in definitely there. done. But you can see how that's not nearly as red dark as the buffalo. Ooh. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm free now. That is incredibly <laughs> good. Too. Wow. Uh, the bitterness, the bile in there, and then the maquen that comes in so oh, nicely. The, the, oh my god. That citrusy zing. I think I would want to send it the raw meat ones. Mm. Oh. The it's not, it kind of has that snappy cartilage texture to it. Then next, this is a this is a cooked Ooh. plate of lab made with oh, pig and the pork. I you can try this so one. Garlic in there, the cilantro <laughs> and the green onions and the mm. fried garlic on top. I can try this one. Look at Max's eyes, the lazy eyes. Mm. <laughs> but by the way, guys, yeah. ate everything. Garlic is goodness. Oh, love this. It's so good as well. <laughs> it's all the same spices as in the raw version. Just it's more of like wow. a, a warm feel as opposed to the refreshing coolness of raw. I would rather the the the, the cooked one. one. Yeah. Fried. Uh, slightly sour, <coughs> slightly fermented pork little riblets. I, I would enjoy this if you have no bone. I would surely enjoy just so salty, it's so crispy, it's so oh. fatty, oily. That is all. Awesome. <coughs> Next dish is called jinnu. Jinnu. Mostly shin pieces of beef. Wow. A mix of beef that's steamed, um, and then served with a uh, uh, oh nothing tadang, which is red-eyed chili sauce. Hey. So much meat today, wow. and I'm still excited <laughs> for each bite. Like, look at that. Wow. Ooh. 
Yo, if I wasn't working on Saturdays, I think I would have gone around and do video for you guys on my so country. Like where you could um, like enjoy different road. food and really different like restaurants like maybe. And mm -hmm. snack it. It's actually not spicy. Wow. Well Hopefully, like, I, I really so want to really do this for you guys. Like, so you could get an experience of Dominica and travel not eating in Dominica. Just like I'm getting experience of Thailand and Mark Wien and eating in Thailand. Lemon peel, oh, really? Lime peel, just to it. The next dish is a uh, wow. It's called gang. Would this take a soup? And it's with fish. Fish. Um, and this is a northern curry. I've never had it before. There's fish in it. Wow. Lotus stems in it. You can see the curry paste in it. It, it looks, looks like soup. What? Like like I guess it's like broth. A sauce almost. Wow. It tastes like pickled almost. Like what type of fish is that? Is like, and then you um, got the crunch sea, of those lettuce lotus stems. So it's kind of like, like that same kind of crispness of like celery, fish. but really like <laughs> I, soft and tender at the same time. Ooh. The oh my gosh! Fried fish! Fried herbs! That looks delicious! What is all that thing on top of it they are looking like? It's mostly lemongrass and pepper lime leaves. Oh, lemongrass. Okay. Dip that into the sauce. <laughs> and then maybe chase it with some of that lemongrass. Oh, oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's just delicious. It's just like classic good. The crunchy fried fish, <laughs> the sour garlicky chili oh. sauce, the the fragrance of lemongrass. Wow, these guys are eating so Deep much. Strands of lemongrass. It's so good. <laughs> wow, and they're lean. Like they're so lean. Wow, do they? Ooh, proud. Twelve viewers. I can say with certainty that That's this about is one of the something best days of oh, northern okay, Thai food in Chiang Mai. Well, wow. without a doubt, the best day of food in Chiang Mai that I've ever had. I'll have all the information <laughs> of all the restaurants we ate at in the description box below, of so you can course, check them out. Of course, that was a great and video from Mark Queen. Enjoying this video, please remember to food. give it a thumbs up of course, if you watching it. it. Why is it? Of course. Also, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. click subscribe and click that little bell icon. Uh, I'm going to be publishing lots more food and wow. travel videos. And yeah, lots more delicious <laughs> food to come. So thanks for watching. Awesome. See you're you welcome, Mac. Video. Thank you, of course, guys, for requesting this video from Mac Wien, where Mac Wien basically enjoyed one of the most delicious but it was raw meat um, lap, lap, of course and the Thai sausage was the best one I loved it, it was very tempting the Thai sausage, not sure about the raw meat guys, I have to, I've never eaten the raw meat part of it, so I'm not quite sure how I would ever react to eating the raw one okay, thank you guys for requesting this video, subscribe subscribe, this is just comment, you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video guys, leave a comment below thank you so very much, bye guys